So in this demonstration, we're gonna show you how to create reporting out of a Visual Builder application using a new functionality in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure for creating reports or generating documents. So just as an example, we have here a little application where we can see information about the movie, and then we can click to get the ticket to the movie. This actually invokes functionality in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and generates a PDF um, formatted with information from our application, like the name of the movie and the rating and the description. All of this is information that you, we are bringing in from this page. So how do we actually achieve this generation of this document? We're doing it using a new functionality in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure called the Document Generator function. That's a function in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure that accepts an Office template file and a JSON file with data and can combine them to generate a PDF. Okay. So in our case, we have this Word template. Okay. Um, and that's basically the ticket that you just saw. We have images, we have different fonts, different sizes, and we have tags in here like the movie.title, movie.rating, movie.overview. Those are things that are going to be injected into the document from um, the function. So the function basically takes those tags, inject information into them, and generates PDF out of it. Now, in order to provide those tags, you also need a JSON file. So this is an example of a JSON file that I'm using. I have a movie object and I have a title, rating, and overview. And that's the type of information I'm passing into the function. And this then takes the title, rating, and overview, combines it into, over, into the tags over here, and generates the PDF. All of this is then kept inside Oracle object storage. So we have a bucket storage under object storage. Uh, this is my bucket. In here, I have the template. I have a JSON file. And I'm generating the uh, PDF into the tickets folder. Now, the JSON file is something I need to change each time in order to uh, put the information about the current movie that I want a ticket for. So this is the part where we're doing this inside the Visual Builder application. So let's go into the design mode for this application. This is the page, this is the button, and we can see what the button does. So the button has an event. In the event, we're starting by creating a new file, okay? And just generating the content. So it's just text, the uh, text for my JSON plus variables from the page, like the title of the movie. And if we scroll further to the right, you'll see the uh, vote average, which goes into the rating and the overview, okay? So all of this goes into a file object. We set the type of the file to be application JSON. So now we have a file variable. Then we're calling our first REST service. So this is a REST service that puts a file onto the object storage. So we're going to create the movies JSON file and we're passing into it the my file, the variable that we had over here. This is the body, okay? And then the content type is application JSON. So this call is basically the first thing that we're doing. If there's an error, we're gonna show an error here, but if it worked okay, then we're doing another REST call over here. This time we're calling another endpoint that invokes our function to generate the document. To this function, we need to pass in a body that has this structure over here. And again, right now this is just fixed values, but you can of course modify it if you need to. And what I'm passing here are basically the name of the namespace, the bucket name and the files, uh, the one for the data. So this would be the movies JSON. That's the file I created over here. Okay. Then this is where the output is going to be placed. Again, inside my ticket uh, directory, I'm going to create a movies PDF. And the other thing that I'm passing here is what is my template. And again, all of those can be changed dynamically. You just assign them over here to the REST call. After the REST call succeed, I'm gonna show a little uh, pop-up saying, hey, we created the ticket. And then I'm using an open URL to go to the, the, to the specific file I just generated the movies PDF in the tickets directory. 
So that's basically the logic here. Again, all we're using here are two REST services. The first one is a load file REST service. Um, it connects to our um, bucket over here. Okay. And it calls the put method on that endpoint, passing in information about the file name. In my case, it's kind of hard coded in here, but you can also have it as a parameter. And in the body, you would want to actually pass a file. So we set it up to be the octet stream type of data. Okay. And you can test this also from your um, instance. So that's loading the file. Second method is the create ticket. So this one calls out to our function. Okay. So our function and the action on it, this has an endpoint. And if we look over here, it's a post endpoint. Okay. Um, and in terms of the parameters, it's to the doc generator invoke. Okay. Um, and we're passing in in the body something that would look like this. And again, you can create a type out of it and assign values for it dynamically. In my case, most of this is just static. And again, you can test this and generate stuff. So that's all you need uh, in order to get this application working. And then again, if you go back to your application, if we go now back and choose another movie, okay, and click the get ticket, we're calling the first REST service to take these pieces of data create a JSON and load it. Second uh, REST call generates the PDF. And then we are doing an open in a new tab for this movie ticket that we just generated. That's about it.